Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a haul. I know I only put up one video like a couple of months ago, but I am back and I'm going to film permanently. I think about once every one or two weeks, depending on what I'm doing that week, but I will be filming videos from now on. And I wanted to start with a haul. I'm not sure if I said that already, but I'm putting it out there again. And I have a few things to start off with. I'm going to start with the uh, beauty stuff. I only got a few things. Uh, one thing from MAC and a couple of things from Victoria's Secret. But I'll just show you. Victoria's Secret, um, they have their sale. And they have really good deals actually. Better than Black Friday, I think. And I got these um, little mists. The pink with the splash. <clears throat> and these are originally $8. And I got them for 4 because they're 50% off. And I got the Warm and Cozy, which is a red. Uh, soft and dreamy blue and sunny and happy in purple and i'm gonna keep one give one to a friend and um i don't know put one in my backpack or something or my sister yeah and then from there as well i got the drenched in pink fun and fearless super soft body lotion and i love this it smells really good and um i think they say you should use this after taking a shower and this is the fun and fearless and it smells clean like a summer scent and it smells nice and I kind of like how it's like off to the side the lid yeah it smells good and this was originally 15 but I got it for 750 because this was also 50% off and I like me some deals so I got that as well and then from MAC I only got one thing they weren't having any deals of course and this is Brave Lipstick. This is a um, satin lipstick. And I was planning on getting another one. It was um, Make Me Pink or something like that. It's like a matte pink. But then uh, La Beauty Crush, or no, just Beauty Crush here on YouTube um, always wears this and she loves this. So I was like, I should give it a shot and see if I like it. And so far, no complaints is a really pretty color. It's pink. And I've only used it a few times, but um, it's beautiful. I don't know if you can see it, and I'm not sure if it's focusing. But it's so pretty. It's kind of like my lip color. I'm not sure. There's my mirror over there. I'm not sure if it's my lip color or not, or if it shows like that, but it is. And yeah, so I got that. And then from the drugs, though... So I got three things, four things at Target. Five things. So the first things I got were from e.l.f. And I got the contour brush and the powder brush. And um, I love the e.l.f. brushes. I've tried a MAC brush. And I've, I've never tried Sigma. I've always wanted to try them. But I can't make myself spend $80 for a couple of brushes. I don't know. I think it's too much money. I'm not sure if that's just me. And these are only $3. And e.l.f. also has another line. And their brushes are only $1. Yes, $1 at Target. And these black ones are their studio line, which cost $3 each. It doesn't matter what type of brush. They're all $3. And it came with the brush guards, which I like as well when you're traveling. And this is the powder brush. And I can use it for my blush or my foundation if I really need to blend it in for some reason and yeah I use them and they're really 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 soft like that and they they're nice they're nice and black and this one's a contour for your eyelid and then I also got a elf lengthening and defining mascara yeah um and this is all black. I was actually going to go buy the Too Faced um, Two Step Mascara. This shirt restrains restrains my arm movement so much. It's like, it's not tight, but it's just the material it doesn't let me move. Um, what was I saying? Off topic. Too Faced. So the Too Faced Two Step Mascara thing. Um, I watched Dulce Candy 87 here on YouTube, and she re she um, recommends it because you get the Kim Kardashian lashes. And I was like, oh my gosh, thirty dollars, thirty five dollars for the mascara. I was like, oh. And then I was like, I'll get the benefit one, but I was like, oh. And then I saw this one, and I was like, I'll try the one dollar mascara and see if I like it. And if I don't like it at all, I'll just come back and buy the um, Too Faced mascara. 
and I fell in love. I've only used it for two days, and this is just the black one, <clears throat> and honestly, I love it so much. It's kind of clumpy. I'm not sure if it'll focus on the brush. It's kind of clumpy, but um, the formula is really good. It doesn't clump on your lashes. It just looks really clumpy on the wand, <clears throat> and I love it because it's like a tiny brush. It's not super tiny because I've seen some tiny, really tiny brushes like from Clinique or from, um, what's that brand? Benefit? No, Great Lash. Great Lash from like the drugstore, you know? And this brush is like medium size so you can get the inner lashes, the outer lashes, the inner bottom lashes, and the outer lashes. It's really good and it makes them really thick like at the bottom and lengths th lengthens them out and fans them out and it's amazing and I love it and it was one dollar and I'm, I don't even want to get the Too Faced um, Two Step Mascara Process thing because this is so good and it was only one dollar yeah so check it out if you need a new mascara and then and I've also tried the I want to ramble. The Maybelline Mascaras, and they're like $6, which is pretty affordable too. And they always dry out on me. Like, everyone on YouTube's like, oh, cover girl, cover girl, cover girl. The Clump Crasher. Oh, Lord. I always drop up something in every video. Um, the Clump Crasher, or this one, or the Volumizer, or this, blah, 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 blah. And they always dry out, and they're never good for me. I'm not sure if it's just me, and I'm buying all the defective mascaras of the world. But yeah, so. Anywho, NYC Matte Me Crazy Mattifying Top Coat. I got this at Target as well. It was only like $1.92, I believe. Um, yeah, and it does mattify your um, nails. But I haven't been able to try it because I got my nails done and did a few weeks ago. And actually, the first, the first nail, I don't know if you can see that, it cracked because I'm in soccer right now. I really have one week left, that's how I get to film now, because I get days off, yes. Um, yeah, and I was walking across, and the girl hit me in the, like, right here, the soccer ball hit me, I was trying to block my face, you know, natural instinct, and I heard something pop, and I thought it was my teeth, I was like, oh my god, I don't have any teeth anymore, but it was my nail, so, we're good. Yeah, and it doesn't, like, it doesn't want to fall off or anything, so I'm just gonna keep it on, whatever, I'll just paint over it, that's why I haven't had I haven't had a chance to use this completely, but I have used this on my sister, and it works. And I want to try black on black, matte black base with, like, black details and see how that looks. Um, yeah, so I'll have to let you guys know. Or if you guys want to see a video on it, that'd be kind of cool. And, um, I wanted to show you guys something, but I don't remember. Remember. And then Wet n Wild. Um, I swear Target has the best drugstore, like they have everything pretty much. And this is Mellow Wine by Wet n Wild. And this is what it looks like. It's um, like a, I'd say like a hot, not a hot pink, like a dark pink color. And I love it. It's super pigmented. Oh my gosh. It's not going to show up. It doesn't show up on my hand for some reason. Or maybe it will. I don't know if it'll show up on the camera, but it's super pigmented, and it's just amazing. And it's only like three, four dollars. Yeah, I like this so much. It's very comparable to any MAC um, blush. Honest, 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 honest. They're so good. I love it, and it stays on for a while as well. But you have to be careful because you can put too much, and it'll end up looking like a clown. So that's all I got um, makeup wise. And then what I got, um, clothing-wise, I only got a few things, so don't get too excited. Um, this is Material Girls shirt. Material Girls, I haven't really bought anything from their line, because nothing from their line really interests me. And it's just a pink, flowy, flowy pink shirt. It's hot pink. And I know it's still winter, um, but I'm going to save this for the summer. And the back has just, like, these, like, square cut out things all along the back and I'm not going to wear it like without anything I'm going to wear like a black undershirt with it and then have like or like a what's it called one of those bra things you know one of those under here and wear that with some shorts or some leggings or something and then and that was like 12 $15 12 $12 mela. $2 mela. It was 
$29 originally, but I got it for like $12. And then this dress was a steal. Oh my gosh, Kohl's is amazing. Um, this is a Lauren Conrad um brand and they're featuring her at Kohl's. She's been there for a while, I believe. But I haven't really gotten anything. And I got this really cute summery dress for like some semi casual um date or you know anything like party any type of date you know and i love it i think it's kind of like kitty-ish to wear but i think if you do like your hair very nicely and whatnot wear nice shoes this will really be pretty and it has like this um three layers and it's really light and the print is cute very summery and little spaghetti straps and you cannot believe the price i Oh my gosh. Okay, this was originally $64. $64. Do you see that? $64. So guess how much I got it for? $6.40. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, sorry if I keep shaking the camera. Because I'm like right next to it. Oop. Okay, the next thing I got is also from Kohl's. And the Material Girls is from Dillard's. Oh, and also from what I got from Dillard's real quick is this necklace. It's so chunky. It has, I, at first I was like, this looks like an, something an old lady would wear. Because it has like all these like marble beads. Oh, Lord. There's a hair on it. Uh, light blue, dark blue, orange, yellow, like colors an old lady would wear. But then I was thinking, like with a white simple dress, this would look really cute. So I bought it. It was only like $14. I already, um, I already wore it. It's by the brand... New York and Company, this brand. I got these um, earrings. I don't know. I was, I was going through a weird style style phase when I went to the store and I got those. I do not like those earrings, but I guess I'll just keep them. I don't know for Halloween or something. I got these velvet pants at Kohl's. I know no one wears velvet pants, but I love them. I also got them in black, but I already wore those, and I don't know where they are. This is red velvet. Oh yeah, I'm bringing back the 80s or the 60s. I don't know what age these are from, what era, what time. Yeah, but they're red and they're awesome and they do feel velvety. And the black pair, they are pretty good quality and they do keep you warm but not too warm. So I guess you could pull these off like in the springish transitioning to summer but not too late into the spring because they're going to be too warm to wear. And I love them, and I'm gonna wear it like with a gen, a denim, a denim shirt, and then a cute necklace. Oh gosh, watch out, watch out! And then the last thing I got is my biggest purchase is a pair of Miss Me jeans. Um, every year I'll go out and buy a pair of Miss Me jeans. I think this is the last year I'm gonna buy a pair because they're too expensive and they do last a long time and they're beautiful and they have good quality and whatnot, but. Just a price, you know what I mean? And you can find really good, like, Levi jeans or any any jeans, really, now. And these I got simple because I have two really detailed jeans, but I want some simpler ones. And, um, yeah, it's just silver and gold. And then it has the little crystals on the side. So, um, very little detail, but I love them, the quality. And because the other two pants I have are silver hardware, this one has gold and silver um, stitching which I liked and then I could wear it with anything really so yeah that was my haul I wanted to show you guys something but I still don't remember what it was um oh my gosh I, I see I see I see oh my gosh I'm long my thing down my brush holder that's what I was remembering okay my brushes go in this brush holder right here and so yeah I have added oh these are the one dollar elf brushes I only have one the powder brush it works really good yeah and I guess I have Urban Decay, Elf, Eco Tools, uh, Elizabeth Arden, Jane, and just like a spoolie for my eyebrows. And yeah, so these are my brushes right now that I'm using. And I keep them in these like little glass bead things. And I actually made this. If you guys want to see a video on that, I would definitely do that for you guys if you guys want to see that. And I think it looks so cute. And it's so easy to make and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So, guys, that's it. I will see you guys next week in my next video. And if you guys are watching, please subscribe, please comment, and please like or dislike, whatever you want to do. 
I'll leave that up to you, and I hope you guys have a good day, a good tomorrow, and a good life. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace.